everyone and I guess Happy New Year since this is my first video 2016 since I kind of took a long break in 2015 but anyway I'm coming at you today with apparently Carly on my lap and Jinx there because they didn't want to let me film without them so um, yeah I'm going to be filming a story time today as you can tell by the title and yeah so if you're excited for story time and Crowley is, <laughs> then definitely keep watching. So this story happened when, back in the day when I was in high school, and I had my best friend um, at the time sleeping in, or sleeping in, sleeping over at my house, and I guess we'll just call her, for the sake of story, we'll call her Jen. So Jen was spending the night at my house, and me, my mom, Jen, and my sister were all like, hanging out in the living room and Crowley's playing with my tripod. <laughs> um, we're all hanging out in the living room and watching scary movies, you know, sleepover stuff, right? And um, at this point, my stepdad's sleeping. It's about close to one o'clock in the morning. Here's where it gets scary and here's where I thought I was going to die. I'm not kidding. Like, this title isn't clickbait. I legit thought that I was going to die. So anyway, it's probably about 1.30 in the morning, and all of a sudden, there's bang, 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 bang on the front door. And I'm like, oh my god, right? I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then, the way my living room set up, I was in a, we lived in a trailer at the time. And you know how trailers have that big window at the end? Well, the couch was right at that window, facing the TV kind of thing, right? So me and Jen are on that couch. My mom and sister are on this couch on the other side, where there's another side window. And then we have an addition um, off the end of the living room that goes to the front door and everything, right? So that's where we hear the sound coming from. And not two seconds later, there's banging on the freaking window behind me. And I'm just like, oh my god, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. I'm freaking the f I am so freaky out. Like, it's not even funny. I grab the phone, and like, this is back in the day, so. This is when we had house phones, right? Like, it was a cordless house phone, but we still had house phones. Anyway, so I'm shaking so bad, and I'm like, I can't call 911! Because I, I was shaking so bad, I could not dial 911. I was so disappointed in myself, because I'm like, I can't even call 911. There's people who come and kill us, I can't even call the cops. I'm so freaking scared. And it was just insane, right? So, um, I'm screaming of course, because I'm scared. So, um, my stepdad, I just don't like saying stepdad. <laughs> There's a long story behind it, and that's why it sounds so weird. So, we'll just call him FF, okay? Because that's basically what his name is. Anyway, so, FF come, wakes up, and he's like, what the hell's going on? He's like, I heard everybody screaming. No, he didn't hear everybody screaming. I was legit the only one out of four girls screaming. Yeah. Just me. Just me screaming and crying and being so scared. Like, everybody else is scared, but not like me. And so he's like, can we do answer the door? I'm like, no, don't do that. You're going to die. He's going to come in and kill us. Like, don't do that. There's bad guys out there. And he goes and opens the door, and the guy's like, your chimney's on fire. And he's like, okay, thanks. And he's like, I just was so worried about you guys. I had to, like, make sure to get you out. So, I'm going to explain a chimney fire. In our edition, we had a wood stove. Like, we had a trailer with a wood stove. So, that's um, one of our main heat sources. And I'm not even sure if this was winter or not. But anyway. So, sometimes fires get in the chimney. Sometimes they can be bad, but ours would have it a lot. And you just have to hit it a couple times. It'll fall. You'll be good. All that stuff, right? The guy was our neighbor. And he saw flames coming out of our chimney. So he thought, yeah, he thought we were on fire, basically. And he's like, I'm pretty sure he called fire trucks. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he did. But I'm super glad I couldn't dial 911 because that would have been so embarrassing. They're coming to kill me. And no, they're just telling us we have a chimney fire. But it was really scary because it was like 1.30 in the morning, banging on the door, we just watched a horror movie. Oh, and the banging on the window behind us, like me and my friend Jen, um, seriously, that was her. Do you know why that was her? She 
was so scared she tried getting out that front window. It doesn't open, it's just like window panels. Like, it's not a screen window, it's not nothing. They don't open unless you like actually take out the window kind of thing. But no, she wanted to escape out the front freaking window. So that's why I was so terrified. Everybody else just thought it was like the front door. No, I heard front door and behind me. So I thought they were trying to get in the front door and the window. That is why I was so freaking scared. And like, it was just one of the scariest things ever. And oh my God. I'm glad it was just a chimney fire and it wasn't even, like we've never had a dangerous chimney fire or anything. But it was still an intense, <laughs> intense and scary situation. And I still can't believe it. So yeah. So that is the time I thought I was going to die. Legit. And I hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to a lot more story times from me because you know what? That's what you're going to get. So that is it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.